Hello everyone, my name is Namara Allen and today we are going to learn how to do this in Archicad. So if you are really excited about uh, these elements that you're seeing and this elevation, we are going to learn how to do it in Archicad and export it in Twinmotion so we can do some awesome renders. So please stick around and subscribe to the channel and we get on to it. Now, Archicad is a 3D modeling software that is widely used by architects and uh, other planning disciplines and that's because uh, the interface within Archicad is uh, more customized to the built environment. But anyone else who is interested in 3D visualization can actually take it up and use it um, because in the end, it's it's a tool. And for as, as long as you know how to use a tool, you can always, you know, pick it up when it is necessary. So today we are going to begin uh, by learning the interface in Archicad and such that we are all on the same page. And then we are going to import a PDF, which I have attached in the description below. Please check it out. Download it if you want to follow along with these tutorials. Uh, so we will import it in and then explode it and uh, use it as a reference. So for now, we have to learn the interface. So this is what you presented with in Archicad. And um, to the topmost, you have the Archicad logo. And after that, you have the project name, which is currently untitled. Then you have the version of Archicad you're using. In this case, it's 23. Uh, and then you will have the menu bar after that. Now, the menu bar will contain most of the things that you will be using in this interface. And uh, it runs from file to help. Then after the menu bar, you are, are presented with the standard toolbar, which you can find in Window, Toolbars, Standard. Notice when I click it, it disappears. And when I go back to Buzz, there it is. So below the standard toolbar, you have the info box. Now the info box will always uh, give you the information about anything that is currently selected. If I select this cursor here, you will find the different properties uh, on how to use the cursor. And then you have the Macu tool, you have the wall tool, you have the door tool, and the rest like you will see them. And by the way, if you do not have uh, this tool here, which is the toolbox, uh, please come to window and go to palettes, and then you have toolbox. Now it disappears. When I go back, palettes, toolbox, there it is. So make sure that you have uh, the three tabs, which is the design and then the document and the more. Now in the design is where you have the different tools that we shall be using. And in the document is where you have the 2D version, like the wording, uh, you have the dimensions and all that. And then in the more is where you will find uh, the splines and the camera and all that. To the right, you will be presented with the navigator pen. Now, this navigator pen can be found in Windows, Palace Navigator. Great. And if you want it, you can go back, but also you can click here. Uh, when you have clicked there, then uh, you will see the navigator here, but when you click out, it disappears. So after clicking here, you might want to right click and say navigator in order to have it embedded at the left hand corner. So I trust that right now we are on the same page and right now we are going to import in the PDF that I have attached below. So once you have found your PDF, wherever it may be, uh, you want to uh, drag it 
you want to drag it and drop it there just left click and drag to drop to the to the archicad and the current there are two pages so you want you to select the first page and place it so when you have placed it in here you might want to select this and position it in the workspace which is going to be the default uh, workspace now for you to do that i have uh, a software that shows you the letters that i press you see when i press escape it is displayed there a d g f and so on and so forth i will apologize that it will not show shift because it uh, uses the interface of office so if i press shift it will only make something capital like shift d shift g shift uh, h but please bear with me uh, but i uh, hopefully i will be mentioning when i press shift so you if you select it uh, one way to move it you can right click and go to move and say drag so you can drag it up to the mid here or uh, the hotkey for that is control d so you can position it to where you want it to be so uh, right now we we want to explode so you will select this and right click select explode into current view and say okay to the pen attributes that have been presented and there we are so you want to, to click out and then click again inside and then you delete the background such that right now we have lines that are presented to us. Now these lines are currently grouped and you can un, uh, temporarily ungroup them by clicking on this suspend group icon. So when you have clicked there and it is highlighted, you notice anything that I click will be separate from one to another. So when you have uh, exploded it into the current view, you want to resize it because usually PDFs will always distort the scale. So how do you resize? Uh, you, there's an icon for resizing, which is here, which is not highlighted, but when I when we select this by hovering over the all of it so you want to click here and move along even if you don't drag but just move uh, the, the mouse across and now you have this selected sorry about that you have this selected so when it is selected you want to select this resize or control k the hot key for now i will select control k I say OK to these properties, then I zoom in to the first point. I want to use these 7 meters to the first point, and then I go to the second point, and I will resize it to 7 meters. And by the way, I'm currently using uh, millimeters. If you are, happen to be using any other meters, so let's, let's resize it and put it back to in here. If you want to change uh, the units that are currently being used, you might want to go to options, project attributes, project preferences, and you change to working units to any of these options that you are provided with depending on where you, the ones you are comfortable with. So right now we have it completely well scaled. So if I measure by pressing M or coming here, we can be able to measure from here up to here seven meters. And that is good. So that will mean that this should be, this, this should be it. For now, uh, well, the tutorial is now long enough, so let's go ahead and go to the next video where we shall learn how to begin the actual modeling.